Deploy your Rails app to EC2 in 10 minutes on Engine Yard Solo. This is part one. Sign up, log in, and you'll be presented with a screen to choose your first environment. This is a, like your Rails staging or production environment, or maybe even an alternate environment. Choose a name. I've gone with the Capistrano default of deploy. You have a few other options here which you may want to look at in the future. Once you've done that, you'll need to choose an application that you want to deploy. For this, I'm going to deploy the RubyFlow News application, which happens to run on Rails 2.1.0. You can choose Rails, MURB, or Rack, and specific versions of those. Next, you want to copy the git clone URL. Make sure this is a git protocol. Paste that in here for the git clone URL. We'll look at private repositories in part 2. Choose a domain or subdomain even if you don't have the DNS set up for it yet. You'll get a temporary one to use in the meantime. Next, you can install specific gems if you want those to be installed on new instances. You can even choose individual versions of those gems. At this point, I don't need any extra gems, so I'm going to skip that. You can also install special Unix packages if you need Sphinx or some other special indexing pure Unix type package. Same thing there. Just a few more steps. If I try to create an instance, it will warn me that I need to create an SSH key pair first. Choose a name. I'm just going to call this the default. And I'll click the Create Key Pair button, which will generate a private key for me. Copy that and install that on your local machine. The easiest way to do that on Mac OS X is with the PB Paste command, which will paste contents straight out to standard out and you can pipe that into the SSH directory. Important in this case is to make sure the right permissions are installed. Change to a 600 permissions that will make it readable by you and by no one else. Final step locally is to add that to your SSH keychain so that this will automatically be loaded when you try to connect to your slice. Now we're ready to go back to the Engine Yard Solo control panel and create an instance. Click the Create Instance link. You have a few simple choices to make. I'm going to go with the default SSH key pair that I just created, and then you can choose how powerful you want your server to be. 5 ECU 32-bit is a nice combination of power and memory. Click Create New Instance, and it will start to build the server for you. In real time, this will take about 6 minutes, possibly a little slower if you chose the 1 ECU instance. Once it's done, click on the unique domain name that's been prepared for you. At this point, the application hasn't started, but that's okay. We do know that the domain is there and the, there is a server serving content at that URL. Next, download the automatically generated Capistrano deployment file that's been customized for you. You'll use this to deploy the application. The easiest way to do that is to start with a fresh checkout of your application. In this case, I'll use the same git clone URL that I used previously. Next, I want to apply Capistrano to this application with capify space dot. This will create the initial files that I need for Capistrano, but next I want to actually copy over the automatically generated deployment file. I happen to have downloaded that into my downloads directory, and I'll copy that to config deploy.rb wiping out the automatically generated one from Capistrano. As you can see, there is one gem that we need in order to deploy loc from our local machine, and that is the iCap gem located at gems.engineer.com. Run that. Probably you'll need sudo, and once that's installed, now you are ready to deploy your application. The iCap gem gives you a whole host of tasks that you may want to look into for starting and stopping different services. It also gives you a task you will not see here, which matches up with the environment that we just created, the staging environment. So I'll call cap staging and then the deploy migrations task to actually build the database and deploy my application for the first time. If things go well, you'll see standard Capistrano output as your application is deployed, database is migrated, and application servers are restarted. Revisit your application's URL and you will see a fully functioning database-powered Ruby on Rails application running on Engine Yard Solo.